Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to go through my morning routine. It changes daily depending on my son. Um, so right now you see me kind of trying to wake myself up. I try to get up before he does. Um, and that way I can have myself kind of together before he gets out of the bed. And this is me just checking my emails, my comments, things like that. So I have them taken care of before I start my day. Here you see me trying to get my hygiene together. Um, I try to do this before he gets up as well because once he gets up, it's pretty much the Kai show. So please excuse my hair. I literally just rolled out of bed, um, but I'm just going to brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, um, clean my ears, do the basic things that you do in the mornings. And yes, this hairstyle is really old, so y'all do not get on me about my edges. It's been up for like almost two months. It's about time for it to come down, but I just haven't had time to do my hair running around with him. So this is this is pretty much what I go through every morning. Um, just trying to get stuff taken care of as fast as I can so that if I can get out of there quickly, maybe I'll have time to get other things done before he wakes up. And true to form, before I can get out of the bathroom, he was standing up on the side of his bed looking at me. Um, as you can see, he has taken over our master bedroom. Um, all of his stuff has come in there. His bedroom is pretty much empty, but you know, he's eight months old, so he really doesn't, you know, um, sleep on his own. Uh, he sleeps in his bed, but he doesn't sleep in a room by himself. Um, so right now, I'm just fixing our bed. I try to get it fixed every morning as well. I don't know. It's just something about having my bed fixed I feel better about or something. I, I don't know. So I'm getting his stuff together as well, kind of waking him up. And I'm going to change him and clean his face up and things off camera. To get anything done, I have to get him kind of set up. So I go get his little walker so he can kind of sit in his walker. And I have to turn on one of his cartoons this morning. It is super wide. So now I'm in the living room. I just turn that lamp off. It stays on all night. I don't like hitting stuff and falling over. I call this process waking up the house. I open all the blinds and everything. Now I'm going to go and get disinfectant wipes to wipe down all of our surfaces. Our son is big enough to put his mouth on everything and he teeds. So he tries to chew all the surfaces in every part of every room that he can get to. So I'm going to wipe down all the tables, the little TV stand, and the different things that he puts his mouth on during the day. We try to clear it off when he comes in there so he can't break anything. I'm going to fluff the pillows on that couch over there um, because we sit on it, it kind of gets squished down and then reposition the recliner. My husband straightened up for me last night because it was really hectic with my son. He's great like that. Um, but I have to go back behind him sometimes. And then I'm going to go over there and put my dog's toys in his bed. As you see now, I am in our kitchen. I am cleaning out my son's bottles, which I do frequently. Every time they are done or he's done drinking out of them, they get cleaned so I can give him time to hang and air dry. I do not like the water here, so I don't like it to mix with his baby water. So I do this literally every time his bottle gets empty. So now I'm going to load and unload the dishwasher or technically unload and then load. Um, I put the pod in first because sometimes when you move the dishes, there's still water everywhere, um, depending on like how the dishes dried. 
and the water gets in that little pod area and then it gets all mushy and it pops as a mess so I don't like to deal with that so I put the pod in first now you see me kind of unloading the dishwasher and um, I do this kind of slowly because those are all glass my mom gave me those um, when I moved out and I try not to break them I don't like them to be chipped to crack they're kind of like a I would say kind of ceramic um, and they're really loud and though my son is awake some noises still startle him so I try not to make too many loud crazy noises at this moment you can see his little hand there he just learned to walk forward <laughs> and so he is everywhere and he's into everything trying to snatch everything down so he's in the dishwasher trying to snatch the little dishwasher tray out I do rinse and sometimes wash out um, my dishes before I put them in my dishwasher sometimes they have oil and stuff like that in them so I try to clean some of that out before I put that in there because sometimes it doesn't clean all the way off and I don't like that but I do like that it gets hot enough to sterilize things so that's what I'm doing right now now i am in our dining area if you've ever been to my apartment then you know my husband tends to turn the living room and the dining room area into part of his closet in the mornings my son and i are still asleep when he gets up and heads out for work so he tries to move everything out into the living room so he can get dressed and things like that without waking and disturbing us but he just leaves it so then my living room starts to look like a, a closet or a laundry room and he just kind of piles things on Right now I'm wiping down the table with another disinfectant wipe. I also wipe down the chairs because sometimes um, they get gunk on them. And now I am in baby Kai's room. You see him there, he's walked in there. And um, it's empty as you see, because all of his stuff is in our room. So I still go in and straighten it up because it, act, it also doubles as our guest room. So I try to make sure that it's as clean and as straightened up as possible. Those are all of his toys. I try to keep them in the closet as well, just so they're kind of up and out of the way and that we're not tripping and falling over them everywhere that we go. Now you see me putting the water back into his bottles. Um, we do have one of the thermal pouches just to make sure the bottle stayed at a certain temperature. When I was shaking it up to make sure there wasn't any soap left in the bottle, my husband cleaned those. So I wanted to make sure everything was all right. And now I'm going to try to get into some of this laundry. It's been in that hamper for about two days now. I'm going to put something on for my son to watch. I usually put on Cat in the Hat. That's my Cat in the Hat dance I was just doing with him. Um, he's long, so you see him getting into the laundry basket. He always tries to snatch it down and knock it over. I try to do when he's asleep or when my husband's at home so that he won't get into it and destroy everything but today I really didn't have many other options so he's gonna be sitting here with me and I was gonna edit this video down more or reshoot the video but you know what I left it because I am a mom this is my mom body now I was about what 75 pounds or so heavier when I got pregnant um, and I am down about 50 pounds now and I just started working out so as you can imagine I was quite a thickums when I was pregnant um, and it didn't seem to be in my stomach mostly. It was like my arms and, you know, my face and my neck and stuff. I don't know how that happened, but, um, I did put on weight all over. 
um, and it's coming off now. I just started to work out, but it's coming off rather quickly. So I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. This is my body. This is what it looks like. I am someone's mom. I'm proud of this little body that I have right now because it went through a lot to produce that little human down there. And I'm so grateful that he's okay. I'm so grateful that my body didn't fall apart on me. So I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to let you guys see me in the raw. This is what it looks like. I am someone's mother. This is a mom bod. And I'm okay with my mom bod. I'm proud of my mom bod. But I'm going to get rid of my mom bod. And <laughs> it's slowly happening now. But you know, it's been a long time coming. Okay, so... I'm working on it guys. So don't judge my mom body. I just want you guys to see that this is this is what my life really looks like. So as you can see, my laundry folding was interrupted. Little man got a little bit fussy and cranky down there. So I'm going to feed him now. I didn't feed him earlier because my husband had fed him 30 minutes prior to him waking up before he left for work. So we're just going to do that and try to get him to calm back down so I can get the other things around the house we need to get done. Done. Look at my dog sleeping. Oh, how I envy you. Mm. So this is the end of this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope it helps somebody too because, you know, motherhood is difficult. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.